One of my favorite things to do on this channel is to open a brand new bottle of whiskey and be able to share it with you at the same time that I'm tasting it for the first time. Today we have a uh, particularly wild bottle of whiskey and I think we should just, just do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and if you haven't guessed yet, this bottle of whiskey that we're going to taste today, that's in a uh, lovely sack, is Russell's Reserve. Russell's Reserve is a whiskey that comes out of the Wild Turkey Distillery. Intro makes more sense now, eh? eh? This bottle of Russell's Reserve uh, is one of the private barrel selection, their single barrel series, which is non-chill filtered, it's bottled at 55% ABV, 110 proof. And this particular bottle that I have came from the Craft Whiskey Club. So it was distilled in December of 2009. It was bottled in December of 2019. 10 years old is a great age for bourbon. You don't often get bourbons that old. A lot of times it's three to six years at the most, and a lot of times two to three years. You can't get the private barrel selection at uh, most sites. I think Total Wine offers it, one of their Spirits Direct bottlings. So that's one spot you can get it. Otherwise, you can just get the single barrel edition. The single barrel bottling uh, I've seen online for about $60. The private barrel selection on um, I didn't pay for this one at Craft Whiskey Club, uh, but I've seen it on, uh, like I said, Total Wine and their Spirits Direct, and that was, I think, around $68, so a little bit pricier for the specific barrel. And this one is actually barrel number 19-1405. If you're interested in Craft Whiskey Club, uh, it has some nice options for getting whiskeys that I no don't normally get, like this kind of private barrel selection. Uh, I have a link in my description below if you wanna join gives me a little perk uh, if you use my link instead of just joining directly. So thanks for that. Their single barrel edition is aged in American white oak casks. It is uh, a special char, it's a level four, number four alligator char, which is pretty intense. And what they're going for with that is more wood flavor, more of the contact with the wood. Uh, anytime you rough up the interior of a barrel, you end up with more whiskey in contact with the wood, which sometimes gives you a really intense oak taste. And we'll have to see what that does to this particular bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like in the glass. So as I stated, Russell's Reserve is from the Wild Turkey Distillery. And Russell is the last name of the master distillers, the father and son uh, that actually picked the barrels and distilled this particular type of whiskey and they've been doing it for years. So way back in 1855, Austin Nichols starts selling wine and, and whiskey and other products as, uh, as a wholesale grocer. Uh, later that would become the Wild Turkey brand. It was in 1869 that the Rippey brothers opened up their distillery on Wild Turkey Hill. In 1940, the Wild Turkey brand gets its name after one of their executives was uh, sharing some of the whiskey on a hunting trip. And of course they were hunting for wild turkey. Strange how these names come up or strange how the stories sound better about how the names come up. You know, <laughs> distilleries are nothing if not creative about their, their history and, and maybe making it sound just a little bit more interesting than it might have been to begin with. So Jimmy Russell, uh, the, the master master distiller at Wild Turkey, has been doing this for over 60 years. It's the longest tenure for any uh, distiller in the world. So Jimmy Russell continues to work at the distillery and create glorious wild turkey bourbons, even though his son has recently been 
uh, promoted to master distiller. His son started back in 1981 at the distillery as a relief operator and, and worked his way up in the distillery. So this is a true family distillery and everyone pretty much knows Wild Turkey's name. I, I know that I had a, an experience with Wild Turkey at my um, bachelor party back in, oh, what was that, 19 uh I wasn't really drinking whiskey back then, so it felt pretty intense. Now, what we have here is 55% ABV. That should be fairly intense, and there's no reason to hold off any longer trying this uh, golden dram of whiskey. Now, this color is actually lighter than I would expect for a 10-year-old bourbon, especially a Kentucky straight bourbon. What happens in Kentucky is they have some very warm weather in the summers, and every time you have warm weather, if you've ever looked at a, oh, let's say a three-year-old uh, Kentucky bourbon or a three-year-old Texas bourbon, you're going to see some really dark colors. That's because the temperature is moving that whiskey in and out of the wood, and you're also getting some pretty heavy angel share out of those uh, type of conditions, that those weather conditions. So when I nose this whiskey, I expect it to be pretty sweet on the nose. I think Wild Turkey has a reputation for being a um, a comfortable uh, flavor profile for its whiskey. I don't honestly drink uh, a lot of wild turkey. I need to get a bottle of their 101 and uh, reintroduce myself to it. Oof. <laughs> okay. I just went too deep in the glass. All right. This is a high ABV. Uh, <laughs> you have to be careful when you're nosing a whiskey with this much alcohol level because you go too deep in the glass. And I have the ability to go pretty deep with this uh, tool. It can burn your uh, sinus cavity, your, no your nostrils. So we'll take it a little easier. Yeah, on the nose, I was getting oak and spiciness. Of course, you're gonna get that with that heavy char on the barrel. And I'm getting some cinnamon there too. The taste matches the nose. Just kind of why I dove in right away. I was expecting a matchup here. I wasn't expecting a lot of complexity. It's a really long finish. A lot of oak spice. A little bit of, with that cinnamon, kind of reminds me of, my mother used to make uh, these cinnamon rolls out of the excess pie crust when she was making apple pies. And she just put, uh, I don't know, probably butter and cinnamon on, roll it up, bake it with a pie, and I would munch on these things while the pie was cooling. And it kind of has that flavor profile for me when I'm, I let the the taste linger on the back of my tongue. It's not overly complex, but there is a lot of spice there. Let me see what happens when we knock this down a few pegs. So I probably should uh, skip using the dropper when I have something this intense because you need quite a bit of water to make something like this feel like it's different than it was originally. Which also means this whiskey probably does a good job of taking ice and on a hot summer day, if you want to have a splash of bourbon over ice, this might be a perfect selection for that. Adding water cuts back on the, uh, the spice a little bit, ramps up the cinnamon, and gives me access to a little vanilla that I wasn't getting before. The nose is more vanilla, more sweet. Yeah, it handles water really well. I would not hesitate to throw some water in this or put it over ice. That's the great part about cast drink whiskeys to me. You have options. When a whiskey is bottled at 40% or 43%, I feel like they've limited your options. You are, unless you want a really bland whiskey experience. Not why I drink whiskey though. I want something a little more interesting. This is a very good sit and drink whiskey without having to think about it. Uh, there's not a lot to explore. You're not going to get the nuances of a Highland Scotch in it, but it is a delicious whiskey. I am pretty impressed with it. Uh, I'm sure I will be using this as my go-to whiskey quite a bit. And it's one of the few whiskeys that I've had lately that tastes good with water. <music> Thank you for watching this. If you liked it, give me a like, hit subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any experience with any of the Russell Reserve whiskeys or any 
wild turkey whiskeys in general, what's your favorite? Uh, I certainly don't spend a lot of time in the world of wild turkey, uh, mainly because, I don't know, flashbacks to my bachelor party, which was filled with way too much alcohol. <sighs> yeah, it could be that. I do have to, I do have to clear the slate and, and try some more of their whiskeys because I'm really enjoying this bourbon. If you're a fan of the wild turkey brand in general, I think you should check out the Russell Reserve uh, single barrel editions. They're worth your time. I've been appreciating all the comments and all the feedback. That's one of the comments I could use. What whiskeys do you want me to review? And uh, just let me know and I'll certainly try to put those on the list. Uh, and if I have to buy more bottles, I will suffer through that just for you. I'm that kind of guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of the people. I'm, I'm willing to do what it takes to satisfy your viewing needs. Take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, and until our next video, cheers. cheers.